Hi everybody, so in this video we learn how to select rows with the index operator loc, the so-called label-based indexing, and we will see in a minute what the difference is to position-based indexing with the iLoc operator. So, but first of all, we import pandas as always, and we import our Summer Olympic Games uh, data frame, and we have a look at the first five rows. And before we can select, so let's assume we want to select the third row at index position 2 with Dimitrios Drivas. So we can take summer.iloc and then uh, the index position 2. And here we get a panda series with uh, the athlete uh, Dimitrios Drivas. He won bronze uh, in the 100 meter freestyle for sailors. And the method read CSV provides many options and parameters to customize our importing of CSV files. So, and by default, the row index is a range index starting from zero, but yeah, we can change this. And we can determine yeah, each of our column in our data frame as uh, the index column or the index. So there is uh, the parameter index column. And there we can pass a column of our data frame and uh, determine the column as the index of our data frame. So let's try, for example, athlete. And let's have a check here. So now you can see that uh, the athlete column is actually now our index of our data frame. And uh, the iLog operator still works also with a different index. So uh, not only with the range index, so what the iLog operator does, it uh, simply selects in the row at uh, the index position 2, for example, and uh, this is irrespective of which column we selected here as uh, the index. So let's check here again, and we still get here the row with uh, Dimitrios Drivas. So there's no difference for the iLog operator if we change here the index labels. However, there's a minor difference here. So the athlete label itself is not here on the left side uh, as the index label of our panda series, which we created here. And actually the whole name of our panda series is, um, yeah, actually Dimitrios Drivas. All right, so now let's head over to the log operator. And now we still want to select the row of uh, Dimitrios Drivas. And what we have to do here, we have to pass within the spare brackets the index label, in this case Dimitrios Drivas, in quotation marks. And again we get a panda series with um, the row of Dimitrios Drivas, so year, city, sport, discipline, country, gender, event and medal, as labels on the left side and the values on the right side. And the whole pandas data frame is called uh, Dimitrios Drivas. All right, so let's search for very famous uh, sports stars and we could search for uh, Michael Phelps, for example. So we have to pass in quotation marks the name here in capital letters, so Phelps, comma, and then the first name where only the first character is in capital letters, so Michael. Ah, here's a typo, so it's Michael Phelps. No. And instead of getting only one row as a pandas series, we get here a complete pandas data frame. Because Michael Phelps has won yeah, many medals and he appeared in, in the index many times. So if you select um, the index label Michael Phelps with the, the log operator, then we get all appearances of um, the index label Michael Phelps. And now what if we want to select only the very first medal, then we can do this by slicing the very first row here of our new data frame by applying the iLog operator and uh, selecting the very first row at index position zero. So I would expect that we get here the gold medal from 2004 for the 100 meter butterfly event. And this is correct. So now we have here a panda series. And uh, this is actually the pitfall of the log operator. So if we have duplicates in our index, so Michael Phelps uh, has many appearances, then log uh, returns us a data frame. And if we have only one appearance of uh, the label for which we want to slice our data frame, for example here Dimitrios Drivas, we get a panda series. So for the same operation, we get uh, as a return different data types. And that's always a bit uh, yeah, difficult because uh, the functionality is different. 
All right, so now we are finished uh, with this session and in the next session we will have a look at the slicing rows and columns with uh, the low operator. So hope to see you there. Bye.